Hey everyone, um, my hair is just doing crazy wild things today, so um, look it's just getting bigger by the second. I fell asleep with it basically up in this weird ponytail and um, this is how it looks when I do that. It's, it's crazy today, there is no shape to it, there's no nothing, it's just a big mass of curls, what can I say? So, um, I've just uh, finished filming this look, which I'll just show you. It's an Eid inspired look. I actually don't know what it looks like in real life because when I take my glasses off, I cannot see an, a thing at all. Um, but I wanted to do my empties video. Um, I thought I'd get it done today because I don't normally get it done and uh, in time and I always feel like I'm rushing and I have so many in this bag. By the way, I've got this little bag which says, um, I think I'm a unicorn. I got this from Primark ages ago and I just love it, it's amazing. So let's go for it. So I'll just pull things out and then I'll talk about them. What I'll do is I'll let you know what I thought of them, how much they were if I can, and um, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a lowdown on each one and whether I'd repurchase them. So the first one I pulled out is a large Classics nail polish remover. It isn't acetone free. It's base, the most basic but effective nail polish remover and it was from a bargain shop for 99p or a pound. It's huge, it's a 400ml bottle and to get nail varnish off quickly, this is great. It's not going to be conditioning your nails, let's be honest, um, and but it gets things off quickly. So it's not acetone free. Um, it's just a basic nail varnish remover, but it does get it off quickly. So I would definitely repurchase this and have done before. The next thing I'm pulling out is, I'll pull up the both because they're the same, sort of the same. Um, the Calming and Comforting Bath Creams by Imperial Leather. I use both of these really quickly. I think they literally lasted me about two baths, three baths. You needed quite a lot. Um, the scents weren't incredible, but they weren't off-putting. This is a moist, this with moisturising milk and co cotton flower, which is their sort of classic-y smell. And the pink peony and cherry blossom, which I thought would smell better than it did. Um, they were fine. They were okay. But they, I think I got them on offer. <clears throat> so, but to only last sort of two baths each. Mm, probably wouldn't repurchase those. They didn't leave my skin feeling any different either. You know how some can make you feel really nice when you get out of the bath? So I won't probably repurchase them. They haven't, they weren't extra special or anything. I have an, a few things actually bubble bath related. Um, I've got the Janet Rager one, which is from Superdrug. It was one that I got for Claire for Christmas, just a little bottle. And it actually says August 2015 on it. So um, this was finished in August 2015. Let's have a sniff. It smells lovely actually. It's got amber rose and jasmine and it's a bathing, bathing foam. I would say this was okay, but I wouldn't say it was as, as luxurious as the packaging suggests, because actually when you see this, it's like a pink color inside. It looks really beautiful and it's like a pearlized finish. Do you know what I mean? So it's a, fabulous present and it worked okay but like the other two it didn't leave my skin feeling particularly soft afterwards um i say i'm pulling things out they're, they're quite sticky because they've sort of just come straight from the shower okay so this one i can't get any more out this is the peck sniffs rose and peony hand moisturizing hand wash and um, that was sort of the last dregs that you see there. And I, we've got another one. This was 2 99 down from £15 at TK Maxx. We've got another one. The scent is beautiful. And it's because it's rose and peony, which are my favourite. Oh, it's lovely. Really lovely. I, I love it. It's almost like a sweet floral. Um, I love peonies. It's a lovely pink colour. And um, yeah, I. it's a moisturising hand wash. Now, does it do that? Yeah, I think it does do that. It isn't antibacterial, it's 300 mils, so it's about a pound, yeah, you're getting it basically for a pound for 100 mils, which isn't bad. Um, and yeah, I, for a bathroom soap, this is really quite effective. It washes your hands nice. You don't need much to lather either. Um, and yeah, my hands do feel soft afterwards. It didn't trigger any of my um, 
kind of eczema. Now, I always point here because this is the only place I get it, like the tiniest little thing. It doesn't even show up because I use hand moisturizer all the time. So yeah, I really enjoy this and I have got another bottle and I definitely would repurchase this. Okay, next up. This is the Nair Brazilian Spa Clay Shower Power Cream. Keeps you smooth for up to seven days. I mean, anything that says for up to is, to me, it, it, unless it said guaranteed, I would never look at those sort of claims. Basically, what you do is you put this on before you get in the shower. Then while you're having your shower, literally, you can get it wet. It doesn't matter. It doesn't sh budge. So while you're like cleaning the rest of your body or um, while you're washing your hair, for example, it's five minutes and it, you kind of let it, it go, um, kind of do the thing that it needs to do and it removes the hair. Now, it doesn't have that really horrible smell. It doesn't have a pleasant smell, but it's not as bad as some of them, you know, that really horrible chemical smell. And it doesn't leave a sort of burning sensation on your legs at all. There's a tiny, tiny tingle. So I'm not, because I am i don't want to lie and say that it, it doesn't feel, you don't feel anything. The tiniest of tingles when you first put it on, and I think that's because it's cold. But as soon as you're in the shower and you're washing your hair, you don't notice anyway. So um, it comes with this little plastic applicator thing that you can use to applicate, but I just use my hands anyway. Um, and then you, you use it as like, it's almost like a, it's got a sharp edge that you pull the hairs off like a razor, like you would a razor. And I really like this. I was recommended this by um, a lovely person called Laura from What Laura Loves. I will link her channel below as well, actually, because she's incredible and I want you to check her out. It, <clears throat> it isn't cheap, but it's not the most expensive. And it lasted me maybe three to four, for just legs, by the way. Um, it lasted me about three or four um, applications. I wouldn't use it anywhere else. I just use it on my legs but what's really good is because I find it really difficult to get to like the back of my thighs and stuff and I think this works really really well for that so definitely would recommend this if you're somebody who doesn't enjoy shaving and just wants to sort of have, give something else a go that the Brazilian spa clay and it says removes all visible hairs and that is actually what it does really well um, so yeah just follow the instructions on the back and definitely do a um, test a patch test before because some people might be um it's not hypoallergenic or anything it has been dermatologically tested but you just have to try these things don't you next up is a body wash and i absolutely loved this it's ted baker body wash in um the blue color <laughs> and it's the scent is so nice and it's, it's, so I'll just read what it says. This refreshing body wash blends fruity top notes with violet whilst the base combines sweet yet soft vanilla, patchouli and amber. And there's something really unique about the scent. It's very, very nice. It has got sweetness to it, but it also has that floral and then there's a that amber I can just get that amber afterwards and this is just oh I've got a swatch on my arm still from earlier oh you must think I'm right mucky that is a swatch from a, a makeup revolution um eyeshadow one swipe so just so you know that's incredible that's what I've got on my eyes actually um this was really really good if I was given this as a gift I would be really happy it was also really moisturising as a body wash. I thought it was a really luxury item actually. And it is Ted Baker. Um, I think the packaging is stunning, like the rose gold on here and here, the lovely floral thing. I just think it's really nice. I wouldn't repurchase myself though, given that, I, you know, I did actually get this as a gift. Um, but yeah, I, it's all gone. It was really easy to get out. I loved it. I thought it was really, really good. And, um, a lot of this stuff is skincare. I don't really have anything that isn't. I finished up um, a Dove deodorant in Go Fresh. It's 48 hour grapefruit and lemongrass scent. I think this is my favorite scent out of them all. I've, I've been trying a few lately. I do use a rollerball. I used to use sprays. Uh, my armpits used to get very, very sore. Um, I started using the Dove Go Fresh and I found that this really does stop me from um, any body odor. And um, yeah, I really like the Dove one in particular. My armpits always feel so much better. They're not lying. Their claims are that you will have soft armpits and that is what this does. So I'm do I've am i got some other sort of flavours, flavours, scents that I'm using, but I think that one's my favourite so far. I finished, oh, I finished 
this. My um, Righteous Butter, another one. I finished it all up. Look, oh, there's some in the lid, but yeah. Um, I love the Righteous Butter. Claire doesn't like the scent though. She says it smells yeasty, but I don't think it does. That isn't the smell I get from it. I get like a soft, clean smell. And um, what I love about this is that I'll have a shower in the morning. I use this before I go like get dressed um, all over. I literally put it all over. So that's why I get through it quite quickly. But then I leave it, I, I, I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning, I can still feel it and I can still smell it. And I think that's what I really like is that it's sort of still there. And it's not that it hasn't sunk in because it has, but um, I do love this. I actually used a different body butter today, which was really, really nice. And I will probably talk about that in another video because it was from a little shop in Brixham. So, um, but this is the Righteous Butter by Soap and Glory. And yeah, I really enjoy this product. I have got another one as backup and I would always repurchase it. Although Claire is not clean, keen on the scent. So I might have to figure something else out. I've got an empty bottle of the Planet Spa by Avon, heavenly hydration with Mediterranean olive oil facial oil. This is my holy grail oil product for my face. I use it morning and night, three drops. Um, I get through about a bottle every one or two months because I really do use it every single day. My skin is flawless because of this. So um, I love this and I definitely would continue, sorry, my phone was ringing then. Um, buying this especially for the price at the moment I can get it for £2.80 but even when it's not in the sale it's £4 so would definitely recommend it then we've got oh dear it's all a bit sticky in here um, another body butter that I was using when I went away because it's quite a small tub and it's the Sanctuary Spa Covent Garden body butter um, award-winning moisture boost apparently I wasn't keen on the scent of this. I know a lot of people that really enjoy the smell of it. I wasn't wasn't that keen, if I'm honest. I thought it was probably okay at best. It wasn't like the best scent I've ever smelled. I wouldn't really repurchase this. It was all right. It wasn't fantastic. It was very for a body butter. It was quite a thin consistency. So um, yeah, it didn't feel like you know the righteous butter's like dead thick. Although they have changed the formula. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. But if I was given it as a gift, which this was, I wouldn't turn my nose up at it. Does that make sense? It just sounded like I probably would, but I wouldn't. I would still use it. Um, I also finished this, which is in my project pan. My my finish eight by November the 5th, so bonfire night. Um, it's the Body Butter Spicy Sensation by Maid's Recipes. I was bought this by Claire because I had run out of body butter. Um, it's a very, very thick consistency. It's a bit too thick. It doesn't really work into the skin really well. It smells of cinnamon. So if you like that scent, you'd probably like this, but it's not overpowering. I do like though um, that it came in a squeezy tube. That was quite good because then you're not putting your hand into a tub. So yeah, I did like that. But um, I, I, wouldn't, I wasn't keen on the scent if I'm honest. And I wasn't even keen on the sort of what it did for me. But, you know, I finished it. I feel good that I got it, got it over and done with. Then we have a finished bottle. Now, oh, this brings back memories. So this is oh, it's stunning. This is the Molten Brown Temple Tree Body Wash. And I got this in a glossy box or a birch box or one of those sort of... Um, monthly boxes and it says London via La La low how do you say it L A O S Lao I think it is um Laotian Lay Laotian temple tree flower with patchouli and jasmine aroma the calm of the temple a ritual to relish so firstly I just I really want to go into this because it's important the scent is to die for it's peppery but floral and it's it, you know it's quite unisex it's like a bright blue color the the, the color of the actual um i think you can maybe see it yeah you can see it in the bottom there a bit kind of a bright blue color 
and I've never been a fan of the molten brown things that I've got. I did really enjoy a body lotion that I got. They're just very, very expensive for what they are. But I took this with us when we went to York the day that we got engaged. I obviously didn't know I was getting engaged at that point. But basically, in the hotel at York, there was this standalone bath. And we had like this mezzanine hotel room, which was like a duplex. And on the top floor in the mezzanine was this standalone bath, huge bath beautiful and I used this the night that we went out and the night that I got engaged and and I was using it because I wanted to finish it up but I absolutely it brings back so many memories for that night which was the best night of my actual life it was so incredible and if you haven't heard all about it then you know where have you been for the last <laughs> eight months because I haven't shut up about it um so this was yeah I'm really chuffed with this I really love, oh, just the smell. It just brings back so many memories. Um, but what I will say, that aside, what does it do? It actually does feel really moisturising afterwards. You know, sometimes you can, I think, like the original Source ones, for example, you can use a body wash, but you come out feeling sort of stiff. Your skin feels stiff and a bit dry. But this was definitely moisturising the temple tree one and if i could repurchase it they are so expensive um i definitely would this would be top of my list i think the scent is beautiful and if you haven't tried it if they did a perfume in this i would get it 100 percent. and i should maybe keep the bottle to see if i can find a scent that basically has those sort of smells in it because it is gorgeous that is my favorite empty of this whole one um then we have a i've got empties then I've got two fails. Um, so this is the A New Vital Gel Cleanser. I got a little gift set from my Avon lady, bless her, that was really kind, which is probably worth about 20 quid. And it had a day cream, a night cream, an eye cream, a full-size eye cream, I should add, and this little facial wash. It's a gel face, facial wash, it's 50 mils. The scent of this is really fresh and lovely. I have never smelled anything like this one. It is really, really nice and um, it didn't foam on the face, which is good. It, it did a little bit, but not majorly so, because if it foams, it means it's drying out your skin. But this was just incredible. I'll show you the bottle. This is meant to be for kind of 20 upwards, and the whole skincare range is up to about 40. Um, it helps to add moisture, but it's not too intense. You know, like you don't really need that much. So this I would definitely repurchase, actually. Um, I really liked how it cleaned my face. And it's the sort of one that you would use in your shower routine. It's not one that I would use to take off makeup, though. This is literally just a when you've woken up, after you've taken your makeup off the night before, this is a really good one to sort of refresh what you've um, your face before you use the rest of your face products. So, yeah, I would definitely repurchase that, I have to say. And then my final thing that's finished, I've got three of these. Um, it's not quite finished yet. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation Fondant. Um, I guess that's what foundation is actually. Uh, I'm reading the French bit. Um, and this is in Fair, uh, number one, Fair Pale. And um, I'm trialing it at the moment. I actually have the pot somewhere up here. I don't know where I've put it. There it is. Here we go. I've got it on today. So you can see it, it's on today. You can also see my highlighter, wow. Um, so I've got it on today. It is quite impressive. Um, it doesn't feel like I've got tons and tons of makeup on. That's what's really nice about it. I have got to finish a few other foundations, but this is definitely on my wish list of buying it. Um, it's £29.50, so it's still under £30. Not as much as, you know, NARS Sheer Glow, etc. But, um, yeah, I've got about half the pot left. Um, I put it in here because I got three of them and I thought I might as well decant it into this little pot so that I can have it all in one place. And I've got so many of these. I bought them off the internet, like l these little teeny tiny ones. And I do decant a lot of my samples into them. It just makes it that little bit more easy to keep them all together. I've actually just decanted a serum and the serum said it had 10 mils in it. And these are 5 mil. Um, these little five mil things and um, there's more than 10 mils in that little package because I filled two of them and a bit so you know there was maybe 12 mils which was 
so much better and I've now got somewhere that I can just open and store and keep or even give to somebody else as a trial but yeah I absolutely am enjoying this I have to say I need to really kind of see what it looks like by the end of the day because I've been using it but not doing much so we'll see how it sort of weathers but I do like it and um I've got a lot of foundation to get through but once I've got through that I will consider purchasing this it's not wow though it hasn't wowed me yet it's lovely don't get me wrong but it hasn't wowed me um and then finally i've got two fails and this one's only a fail because actually it's off um this is the cover and conceal by mua it it is a very light concealer um it says yeah lightweight cover for up uh, cover up for imperfections with a smooth flawless finish yeah it does do that it's just it smells um i've had it a little while it was the sort of first concealer liquid concealer i'd ever bought it's a quite a nice yellowy sort of tone um it, well sort of yeah it's sort of a yellow tone um and i'll just put it on it isn't too thick it does conceal um and it would brighten as well it it's all right it actually worked really well i used to use it all the time um i just had other ones that i was trying to get through and unfortunately this went yeah it's, it smells a little bit so this is in the bin just for that reason as well it's not because it was bad but this is the fail the fail of the century actually this is the pure topia smooth and healthy looking hair 100 percent sulfate free color lock protection with ceramide complex pro vitamin b5 and sunflower for dry brittle damaged hair right i was so excited to try this i can't use sulfates in my shampoo because when i put if, if i ever use normal shampoo with sulfates in in my hair my hair literally it's like a magnet it clings together and dreadlocks it dreadlocks and i cannot use it it dries my hair out and when you've got dry hair and curls are dry just naturally they're naturally dry you have to moisturize them you want something that's got you know um, nourishing and strengthening in the title smooth and healthy looking hair um, sulfate free which I've said and something that says for dry brittle, brittle damaged hair that's what you want this was awful I put it in my hair and it was just like it was just dreadful it it's that was it doesn't smell pleasant it doesn't smell awful to be fair but it's not it's just horrible <laughs> How can I describe it? So basically, I put quite a lot in my hand because I had to. I, I, ha I realised I had to. And I was pushing it into my hair, but it just was sort of clumping all of the roots together. It wasn't going into the ends at all. It just wasn't clinging to my hair. And then when I was trying to wash it out, nothing was coming out. And it was just horrendous. And how I'm, at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm using conditioner to wash my hair. I haven't really got any shampoo at the moment. I, I will get some because the Osmo one, which... I spoke about my last empties I do like that one and I just thought that sulfate free shampoo was what I was looking for but it turns out it's not just sulfate free I'm looking for it's everything else as well like a good shampoo plus it's sulfate free so um this would have been uh, well it was 6 99 in TK Maxx and I wish I'd never bought it um yeah it's going in the bin I don't think it would suit anybody's hair it's gross and horrible and gross so yeah, that's it. That is my empties. Thank you very much for sticking with me. Let me know down below if you have any empties yourself and what you've finished and you've loved. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you wish and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm at 930. I have to thank a wonderful person for that and I will put it in my favourites actually um, because um, Vinny from Little Miss Style Guru did a little shout out that I had no clue about. I was absolutely surprised. Did not know it was coming. I was watching a video while washing up and bam, there was my name. I couldn't believe it. She gave me a little shout out just to sort of boost my subscribers, which is really, really cute. And I hope people have subscribed and they're enjoying it. And if you're one of my new subscribers, welcome. Because, you know, I really cannot believe how in just 10 months I've gone from, you know, zero to near, over 500, uh, no, 500, over 900 and nearly a thousand and I really would love to have a thousand in my first year of YouTube that would just be incredible and obviously we all would like more subscribers because it just makes you realize that you're doing something that people are enjoying so you know just um carry on watching carry on th thumbs upping and 
Um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.